Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get these this bowling alley animation done. Um, and we're going to have the bowling ball roll down the alley, hit the bowling pins, all using the physics within Maya, the gravity and the mass and everything here within Maya using the fields and solvers. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. The first thing I want to do is model the uh, bowling alley. And so I'm going to get a plane, a polygon plane, and then scale it up to about the size of the bowling alley. Just a, a lane. And then I'm going to do the sides here by going to edge mode, holding the tab key so that I can select all of these edges, these and these, oops, not that one, hold on, there, except for this one, there we go. And I am going to get the move tool and hold the shift key down extrude i want to extrude that little um bump um, in the alley and then i'm going to get the scale tool hold the shift key and extrude out w move tool hold the shift key extrude down likewise with the end here i want to go ahead and select hold that hold down the tab key Select all of these edges and I am going to extrude down. Hold on, let me rotate this. Push it back and then I am going to extrude down and then over and then up. Uh, this kind of creates that little um, um, area where the pins fall into. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, uh, create uh, an extra thing so that they don't fall out of this. Uh, but anyways, here we go. This is the bowling alley um, floor, per se. Let's go ahead and create the bowling alley pin, the pins. We're going to start off with a cylinder. And I'm going to zoom in on it, size it. And this will be just like the body of it. I want to add a couple of subdivisions. I'm going to go to the poly cylinder uh, tab here in the attribute editor. Add a couple of subdivisions in the height. So there's my subdivisions. I want to go into uh, either vertex mode or edge mode. It doesn't matter. I'm going to select these edges. Uh, double click on this. Shift double click on this and double click on that and make them fatter this is the body of the bowling pin right there um, i am now going to extrude the top so i am going to go to face mode hold on the tab key so that we can select multiples just like this by dragging the mouse and i am going to go to the side F, W, extrude, and then scale. W, hold down the shift, extrude, and R, scale. Again, extrude. I'm not going to scale this one. Well, maybe just a little bit. And then W, extrude, R to scale. Extrude, extrude again, scale one last time, and scale. There it is. Let's do the bottom. I am going to rotate and select the bottom polygons. Hold down the tab key, select all of the bottom ones, and then I'm going to Zoom in a bit, W, extrude, R to 
to scale. And then um, I'm going to extrude one more time, but only, only inward. So I'm going to leave the scale tool on, hold down the shift and extrude. Here we go. And so that's our bowling pin. We're going to need a few of them, but I'm going to leave it as, as is. W, place it down, place it over here. This might be a little too big. R to scale the whole thing. W. And then the bowling ball. Just a sphere. I'm going to scale it up just a bit. Place it up. And then I'm going to place this at the other end. Now, um, what I want to do is make sure that the bowling ball is a little bit bigger than the bowling pins. And I want to also place it um, a little bit above the ground so that it has a, the chance to fall and then roll over. Uh, this bowling pins may be just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hit four for wireframe and then place these just a little bit off the floor. All right, cool. That's all we're going to do. That's all the modeling. I am going to go ahead and uh, apply the material. So let's go to the rendering shelf. This will be a blend. This will be kind of a wood color, maybe a, a beige color. Uh, and the pin obviously will be white. Let's create a new blend. This will be white and then the bowling ball will be black bowling ball new blend color black and so uh, before I start duplicating these these pins I'm gonna add a little bit of a of a red tip here uh, F to zoom in I'm going to right click and hold and go to um, face mode select all these faces Create a new blend and color this red, just like that. Then I'm going to go to object mode and hit number three uh, to smooth it out. There we go. There's our pin. I am also going to go to the top view and I am going to duplicate this. So hold down the shift key with the move tool, hold down the shift key and then clone it back. And then I'm going to push it over and clone it and then grab it again, push it back, clone it, and then clone it again. Uh, I know there's more, but I'm just going to do uh, six. So there it is. There's all my bowling pins. It's starting to look like a bowling alley. Uh, the only other thing that I'm going to do is... Uh, F. I am going to face mode and I'm going to select a couple of uh, rows here so that we can see that it's rolling down. I'm going to change the color a bit and I'm going to pick just a, uh, a light gray like that just so that we can see that the bowling ball is rolling. And so we are ready. We are ready to roll the bowling ball down and knock those pins out. So I'm going to save here. And now we're ready. So uh, I am going to select all of the pins and the bowling ball and apply a gravity to them. We need to apply gravity to them. So let's go ahead and go to uh, the effects menu set, go to fields and solvers and apply gravity to all of these objects. And so if I hit play, you notice that they all start falling down forever. And now um, what I'd like to do is grab this and create a passive rigid body. A passive rigid body means that it is not affected by the gravity 
but it, it, it will collide and it will interact with other rigid bodies. So I'm going to click on that and hit play. And you can see that the ball falls down, but nothing is propelling it forward. That's cool. We're, we are doing good. And so now what I'd like to do is this ball um, here in the rigid body tab of the bowling ball, if you go down initial velocity, that means what, where is it going? This is the X, Y, and Z. We're going to give it a negative 10 because it's going the opposite of the, uh, it's going into this direction and see what that does. Negative 10, enter. Hit play. There it is. And it looks like it's a little bit slow. So uh, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to give it maybe 20. 20. And also, I noticed that once it starts going, it doesn't even rotate that much. And so I want to give it, I want to give it an initial rotation as well. So initial uh, velocity is here. Uh, give it an initial spin in the X um, axis. Let's say 360, one spin, one rotation, and see what that does. Oh, it went backwards. So it has to be negative, negative. Hit play, there it is. It looks good. Um, and the only other thing is maybe this one needs a little bit more, but we still need to add mass to it. If we give it a mass of, let's say, 20, it's going to feel a lot heavier. And so you can see that those pins just kind of are no match for this bowling ball. And so uh, these pins also need some weight because now they look to be very, very... Um, oh, the only thing is that we have to kind of do these one by one that's the that's the bad part so let's start with this one and let's give it a mass of oh five and see what that goes five okay so that's a mass of five on the bowling pins a mass of 20 on the on the bowling ball there we go. It looks a little bit better for me. This, this is the back of the, that's why it looks black. So we could, blend one and crank up the ambient light just a little bit. Make it a little bit less. There we go. We've animated, um, and I really didn't animate anything. This is all taken care of by the dynamics, the gravity and the velocity and the mass. So it's all physics. It's all the physics engine within uh, Maya. And this is, how, this is how it reacts. Again, nothing was animated by me. There's no keyframes or anything. This is all taken care of by the physics engine within the field solver, field and, fields and solvers in here in Maya. Hey guys, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.